Okay, now I am going to move the files that I created from one domain to another domain. And this process, sometimes, you know, your site crashes or something happens to it and you want to restore it. The, the method that I'm going to show you here, you can use that regardless of if you're moving it from one folder to the next. Uh, it still applies to that. So I have a completely different domain. I don't have anything set on that. So I am going to go to File Manager. And the first thing that I want to do is I want to create where I want that to go so I'm just going to create a new folder uh, Joomla alright so I have, a new, I have a new Joomla folder in this new domain so I'm just going to click on it next click on upload and I'm going to upload the file that I downloaded from the previous domain or from the previous folder so click on choose file um, the Taman Inc. This administrator that I downloaded before, click on it, and it's going to take a few moments to up to upload to download. All right, so once the upload is complete, X out that screen, click reload, and you see the administrator that zip. Click on it, extract, extract files, and give it a moment. And what this is doing is that it's just extracting the files uh, that were part of that Joomla website. Okay, so the extraction is done. Click close. Scroll down. Locate the administrator.zip. Delete it. You don't need it anymore. And then next, you want to create a database, a new database, so that you can import the uh, the database from the old site. So you go to MySQL database, and I'm just going to use just JJO3 create database. go back scroll down you have to create a user and for the user I am going to use the exact same um, name and I'm just going to put in a password and you can pick something you know that has a little bit more, more stronger strength than what I chose uh, create user go back now you want to connect the database to the the user to the database so click find the new database and user you just created and click on add and then select all privileges you want to make sure that you save this information somewhere because you're going to need it in order for you to connect the new database so make changes Let's copy that go back okay so now go back to home and go to PHP my admin and this is where all the the database of that particular particular domain is located so I'm just gonna click on the one I created which is the JJ03 and as you can see I don't have anything in there right now So I am going to import, uh, don't change anything, choose file, and I'll locate the, new, the file that I downloaded, which is the, the Joomla 3, that's the database for it. So click on it, and next click on go. Don't change any settings or anything, just, and what's just going to happen is that it's going to import all the database structure from that domain so you have all the database stuff here the user group the profiles all the account the admin tools and everything in there 
Okay, so next we have to change the database for the new site. And if we go to the, the new site, if you notice right now, it's, it's showing this error saying error displaying the, uh, the error page the application stuff, you know, this here. And it's saying that you have to pretty much connect the database from the old site to the new site. So to do that, you go to the new site that you've transferred over all the files and we've already imported the database the last step is just to connect the database and the files and you have a, a perfectly uh, good site going so find the configuration.php now I want to bring your attention to the permissions right here the permissions is 444 if you try to edit this it's not going to allow you so to edit this file you right click change permissions and you have read write execute user group user group were uh were so what you want to do is you want to set this to 777 so just check all the boxes change permission okay you've changed the permission now you want to right click code edit and then click on edit Okay, this is the file that you need to edit and as you can see we have the database from the old site which we have to replace with the new one so this is located about line 16 so I am going to delete that line it's important that you don't delete anything outside of the quotations just delete just the words alone if you delete anything else that's going to cause problems with the site so I am going to put in the new database that I just created with the new password and then when I'm done click save changes okay the changes are done so let's go to the site now this is once again this is the new site so let's see if everything is up or if there's something else that we missed so enter ah, there you have it so everything was moved over from one domain to a completely new domain um, the key things is you have to create a folder first you have to create a database then you have to import the database from the old site into the new site uh, then you have to go to the configurations.php file once you edit that file everything should be set to go so that's how you can be able to restore your site that's the same methods that you can use um, if something ever happens to your site or if you want to transfer it over to a new domain.